today we are going to discuss about java transformation in java transformation basically we can write a simple to medium level of co uh, code to handle the transformation uh, <coughs> so <coughs> so with the basic knowledge java you have uh, you can write a simple to medium level of code to handle the transformation if you have advanced level you can write a complex logic as well but at today's uh, discussion we are going to deal about uh, passive and active transformation very very basic uh, level of code or uh, java code we are going to apply that so when we talk about passive transformation the source information uh, the records what we are received from employee table 14 records assuming that the same 14 records we are going to load it into the target okay so in this example we are only taking three uh, columns information as a basic thing uh, <clears throat> this is the basic java code so when we move it to active transformation the rows uh, between uh, source and target uh, will vary based on the business rules the records will be filtered what we receive from the source and applied uh, so the target will receive uh, uh, the less number of rows so in, for in this example we are applying only the salary less than 1600 record so basically like out of 14 records assuming that the seven records qualify uh, this filter condition those records will be uh, um, uh, loaded into the target okay uh, let us try to uh, create a simple mapping now so I'm creating m underscore emp java emp load okay okay so that's it so the source will be emp table here okay so let us try to preview the data before it comes let us try to create a target table here t underscore emp underscore java uh, let us use where one is equal to two so the table got created for the target so okay this is the 14 request from the source we can see here now let's try to insert a java transformation here okay so to start with the example uh, let us begin to create an output fields so if you go back, go back to the notes here see here the creating the table and creating the output field as a third step so go to the java transformation properties and down you can see the output fields let us create a three fields so uh, but before to that uh, it's a good practice to receive uh, means like keep a rule to maintain only the three required columns not all columns what i'm going to do it uh, so I'm going to rename this one, uh, not rename, I will I'll create a one more rule. Okay, uh, EMP name, E name, and salary. I'm going to define in this one. Okay, and remove, uh, let us try to remove this rule. Okay, so now we have only three columns uh, uh, receiving from the source to rest column columns is not required only record columns we are maintaining here let's go to the output fields property now so let us see here the decimal 4 and string 10 and decimal 7 the similar output fields we will create here 
that is OMP number with decimal seven and the name let us say okay okay four and seven okay so if you want you can change the precision to four here okay let's say say seven okay the output field is ready now you'll go to the properties of java here so like i mentioned go to the java transformation output field is ready step four and fifth thing is so let us go to the advanced properties here and change the behavior to passive so let us try with the passive behavior when we say passive behavior as we discussed before source and target rows uh, passing through will remain same okay so the transformation scope, scope will be row always so let's go back to the java code here don't change anything else so here select the running uh, running runtime environment and come all the way to we can ensure that input and output fields are appearing here in the on input row, row uh, section we are, we are going to simply We are going to simply paste this whatever the input row which we, uh, we are receiving from the source we are going to assign it to the target that is the output field names okay and compile the code here in the java side so that's it once the compilation is successful you will see the message in the bottom compilation is successful okay now the next thing is uh, you can map the table what we created before uh, previewing it uh, let's go back here and try to map map the table the target table which we created yes this is the table we have created okay and the next thing is if you want you can do the field mapping as well uh, now um, so this is the output field what we are receiving from the java side so that the mapping will be valid here so the mapping is valid but still uh, it's a good practice to go and check in the java transformation whether the rows from the source are uh, pulled properly so go to the preview java transformation run the preview before actually you are running the job so to ensure that the source records are read properly by the java transformation let's wait for it to generate So this is taking time, just a second. So data preview is successfully completed. Now you can see all the 14 records are from the source, the left hand side, the three columns and the right hand side, the output fields have been mapped, uh, means read properly and it's appearing in that. So now we are good to uh, run the job actually. Okay. So that the target table will be loaded without any issues. Okay. Uh, so let us try to run the job and see what is the outcome. Uh, so now the job has been kicked off let us see so the job is in uh, queue and started so it's running so we'll wait for it to complete 
Hopefully it will complete. Uh, with 14 ducats, I have been successfully loaded. Yeah, the 14 ducats have been loaded. You can verify again. Yeah, this is the source record. 14 have been read and 14 have been uh, loaded into the target. We can go and check in SQL developer to double check the same. Yeah, this all 14 records have been loaded so now let us uh, uh, try with the same mapping uh, uh, with a passive transformation in this passive transformation uh, the properties behavior little changes so the thing is we'll go back here and change the behavior to active sorry uh, passive to active uh, so now we can see the difference the transformation scope is eligible to manage through transaction as well so um, uh, and you can uh, make use of update strategy but in our case is very simple code we are not going to do all those things uh, so we'll go back to the java code again so <clears throat> if i go back to the notes which i mentioned so rest all of the steps already we have covered so only we are going to apply the filter based condition and additionally whatever uh, the filtered records we have to generate uh, through this api call okay so that it will generate and it will send the rec uh, record to the target so here we will change the code once the change the code we need to recompile it okay so let us try to recompile the record uh, uh, java code and make sure that the compilation is successful yeah the compilation is successful now so now this time we should see only seven records or uh, previously the passive transformation we that is no uh, business rules but this time we have filtration of this condition so we supposed to receive only seven records from the source so okay let us try to run the preview Because uh, before uh, before it runs, let us try to ensure the same thing here. So where uh, salary less than thousand six hundred, the same condition uh, we wrote it in the Java code. See here, the seven records is appearing. The seven records should uh, see the same seven records has, uh, come successfully. Now we are good. But on one more little change, we'll make it in the target side to ensure that uh, um, the target table truncated and reloaded. Uh, okay okay now we are ready good to generate the job now yeah the job is been kicked off let's wait for it to complete it started it's running yeah so basically if you go back uh, to the session and the 14 records successfully read and but uh, based on the business rules or uh, less than salary less than 1600 it applied and we got only seven records out of that okay uh, we can double check that in the target table here in the sql developer t underscore emp underscore java table see it has been successfully truncated and reloaded with seven records with the active transformation okay thank you friends for watching my video please subscribe my channel